हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज अंटार्कटिका फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल हैव अ लुक एट द जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन ऑफ अंटार्कटिका देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स बायोडाइवर्सिटी एनवायरमेंटल थ्रेड्स एंटार्कटिक ट्रीटी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन इंडियन रिसर्च स्टेशन इंडियन एंटार्कटिक एक्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड वे फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन ऑफ अंटार्कटिका Antarctica completely in the southern hemisphere is a huge continent. The South Pole lies almost at the center of this continent. As it is located in the south polar region, it is permanently covered with thick ice sheets. Antarctica is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean connects the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans. The Antarctic circumpolar current circles from west to east around Antarctica. It is the largest current in the world. Areas lying between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the southern hemisphere are very cold. It is because here the sun does not rise much above the horizon. Its rays are always slanting and provide less heat. Therefore, this is called frigid zone that is very cold. Now let's discuss about its biodiversity. The Antarctic continent is isolated from the rest of the world by the Southern Ocean and successful natural colonization events are rare. As a result, terrestrial biodiversity is low and comprised of simple plants, example mosses, lichens, liverworts and animals example flies, mites and springtails. There are no native terrestrial mammals, reptiles, amphibians, freshwater fish, trees or shrubs. Microorganisms dominate at climatically more extreme inland locations. In contrast, large seabird and marine mammal populations breed on the coast. Marine ecosystems are biologically diverse and rich. Icy waters host penguins, pods of killer whales and swirling clouds of krill and majestic humpback whales. The oceans surrounding Antarctica are some of the most pristine and productive in the world. Environmental threats. Its incredible biodiversity is threatened by climate change as well as increased fishing and tourism. Geopolitical pressures and new interest in Antarctic natural resources are escalating. Climate change is the greatest long-term threat to the region. Some parts of Antarctica are experiencing significant ice retreat including the collapse of ice shelves along the Antarctic peninsula. Illegal, unregulated and unreported that is IUU fishing also threatens fish stocks in some areas of the southern ocean. Subsequently threatening the seabirds and marine mammals that depend upon them. Increasing quantities of plastic are washing up on the Antarctic coastline and sub-Antarctic islands. Many Antarctic species have evolved in isolation from the rest of the world so that they are at high risk from invasive species. Now let's discuss about Antarctic Treaty 1959. The Antarctic Treaty was signed in Washington on 1st December 1959. by the 12 countries it entered into force in 1961 and has since been acceded to by many other nations the total number of parties to the treaty is now 56 some important provisions of the treaty are as follows article 1 says that antarctica shall be used for peaceful purposes only article 2 freedom of scientific investigation in antarctica and cooperation toward that end shall continue Article 3 Scientific observations and results from Antarctica shall be exchanged and made freely available. Article 4 protects the claims of the countries among the signatories of the treaty were seven countries Argentina, Australia, Chile, France, New Zealand, Norway and the United Kingdom with territorial claims. And Article 5 says any nuclear explosions in Antarctica and the disposal thereof Radioactive waste material shall be prohibited. Indian research stations. There are no permanent human settlements but many countries have research stations in Antarctica. The Indian Antarctic expeditions began in 1981. The Indian Antarctic program has built three research base stations in Antarctica named Dakshin Gangotri, Maitri and Bharti. As of today India has two operational research stations in Antarctica. named Maitri and Bharti 
दक्षिण गंगोत्री वॉज फर्स्ट स्टेशन टू बी बिल्ट इन 1983 बट इज नो लॉन्गर ऑपरेशनल सिंस 1989. The Maitri Station is India's first permanent research station in Antarctica, established in 1989. Maitri is an important station that allows scientists to collect geological, meteorological, and geophysical data. The new Indian research base Bharti is located between Thala Fajord and Quilty Bay, east of Stones Peninsula in Antarctica. It was commissioned on 18 March 2012. The National Center for Polar and Ocean Research Goa manages the entire Indian Antarctic program. Indian Antarctic Act 2022. The Indian Antarctic Bill was passed in the Parliament in 2022. The Act gives effect to the Antarctic Treaty, the Convention on the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources and the Protocol on Environment Protection. It also seeks to protect the Antarctic environment and regulate activities in the region. The provisions of the act will apply to any person, vessel or aircraft that is a part of an Indian expedition to Antarctica under issued permit. The central government will establish a committee on Antarctic governance and environmental protection. The committee will be chaired by the secretary of the Ministry of Earth Sciences. A permit by the committee or written authorization from another party to the protocol other than India will be required. for various activities in antarctica region the bill prohibits certain activities in antarctica including nuclear explosion or disposal of radioactive waste introduction of non sterile soil and discharge of garbage plastic or other substance into the sea which is harmful to the marine environment now lastly let's discuss about the way forward it is important to take action to address these issues and protect antarctica's unique environment and ecosystem this includes reducing greenhouse gas emissions protecting vulnerable species and habitats promoting international cooperation and diplomacy in the region as it plays an important role in the global climate so we should pay attention towards its conservation addressing the challenges will require a multifaceted approach that involves government action private sector and individual actions By working together we can protect this unique and important continent for future generations. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all note down the prelims based question. Consider the following statements. 1 Antarctica is the second largest continent of the world. 2 India has two operational research stations in Antarctic. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. Now mains question Indian Antarctic Act was passed in 2022 in the light of that explain the importance of Antarctica in the global climate give your views on the geopolitics around it so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching